Amen. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to really thank God for this uh, opportunity and enabling me also to share something from the word and i want to thank uh, sumo and romi and all the staffs and dts and all of you for uh, giving me opportunity to speak and also i want to thank all of you who are here sorry guys you have to see my face again you know <laughs> i was sitting there you know as soon as i came i, I saw the lights beautiful lights and i was very happy and then suddenly a thought came you know these lights are not good for you you know you know all the glitters yeah but what to do that's what i got it i am so proud about it yeah. i remember you know getting graduated from dts almost 13 14 years ago and i was sitting like you guys and uh, there was so much uh, nervousness there was so much uh, of thinking what god is going to do after this what is god's plan you know what god is going to do through me and uh, we want to do something great but uh, i was really in nervous and the time of decisions to make and all but i went back home and in one week i came back to vivam again to staff but you know uh, i could remember that day till today so fresh and so alive that i was so excited at the same time you know i was so nervous and this dts is so special to me i don't know if you remember me guys but uh, i was there on your commissioning yeah the last week of your lecture phase you know and i'm here, i'm here on your graduation i will never leave you nor forsake you <laughs> you know i had a shock yesterday sumo told me please uh, preach i said are you sure i said yeah please do you know so i was thinking this but uh, as we also hosted you guys you know there is two boys and uh, two other staffs we had a great time in our uh, churches and uh, trust me some of you may be thinking how can this can be a pastor you know Yeah I'm still a pastor officially a Pentecostal church pastor back home if you see me then I'm represent myself as a pastor whenever I go to YWAM I represent myself as a YWAM yeah <laughs> Greek to the Greek and Jew to the Jew anyways so I'm always excited to be here guys and uh, especially this is a great privilege for us as a family that we could uh, you know be here and uh, uh, witness what the Lord has done what a great and beautiful testimonies that we heard from you i was so shocked and i was sitting there god can use even you know movies and songs and god can speak you know and i was thinking lord i want to see some movies now you know <laughs> i want to hear some songs you know but in my childhood not my childhood till now my father hates he's a pastor you know i was beaten up because we watch movies yeah we were bit yeah that's true story not a lying one we were beaten up because we watched movies in the neighbor's house those days you know tv we go neighbor's house we watch tvs we were really beaten up very bad and uh, i still remember those days but i'm seeing here you know i miss something very big lord i could have watched so many songs you know you could have talked to me yeah you know it is my my dad would have been there you know he would have had a heart attack but you know <laughs> but you know that's what the lord is doing something beautiful in vibam that's why i like vibam you know and dts it's so fresh and uh, it's so beautiful uh, there are so many new things that lord does you know so many different things and unique things that we don't even imagine or expect god to do and one of the practical testimony i loved it that somebody became a extrovert but she was an introvert yeah but somebody became an extrovert congratulations yeah <laughs> your home and your houses will see the greater changes yeah you know when i went from my mom dts after graduating they saw so many things changed in me you know me being a extrovert and also the outer exp- i mean appearances and uh, i'm not scared to watch some movies you know that's not stopping me from worshiping the lord and all these things that gave actually my parents a great shock but you know uh, there are so many beautiful things the lord does in dts in a supernatural way that we can never imagine or expect but i want to tell you you might think your dts is finished now but your real, real dts starts you know from tomorrow yeah the moment you keep your step out that's where your real dts starts you know you may go to your villages or towns cities or in even each and every one of us and god may take you to different nations or tribes and countries where you don't even expect you know you may go to the places where you never even dreamt of you may be in different spheres 
working or doing business or doing ministry but remember you are a, you know missionary wherever god has placed you or wherever god has taken you and put you there it could be your home it could be your hometown it could be any kind of places but you are missionary as you go to any places that you go you know so as a missionary wherever god places know jesus more day to day's life and make him known every day in your life you know that's what we learn in dts to know god and make you know him known so take that one as a motto and i believe that the lord will help you do that and one of the main thing is that make disciples wherever you go you know spend time with people and always try to make disciples and i don't i usually talk a lot but they said i only have 20 minutes 10 minutes gone you know romi said you just say hi and bye your 20 20 minutes will go yeah so it's 10 minutes gone but i will be very fast i wrote everything so i can be fast yeah and uh, always wear the whole armor of god wherever you go we see in ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 please read whenever you are free when you go back keep the helmet of salvation upon your heads remembering to protect your thinking from ungodly teachings there are a lot of different teachings came right now right now even the bangalore city there are so many teachings you know is up but uh, it is god who has to uh, give us the spirit of uh, you know understanding which is right which is wrong remembering where you come from and where god is taking you keep the breastplate of righteousness on at all times to protect the word of god which has been written upon your hearts wear the belt of truth which holds all of your armor together for your spiritual protection the truth which is jesus christ the shoes of the gospel of peace sharing christ with those you meet bearing witness to all and carry the shield of your faith in god which will protect you against the attacks of the devil which will come against you you know it will if you go out there is a lot of things which will come against you it will extinguish all of his fear darts and keep you from all the harmness and finally in your hand you know the sword of the spirit which is the word of god your bible always you know keep it close to you with the word you will keep your enemy at bay and in all things you know pray 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 you, you that is one of the main uh, staff that we hold these days you know moses had a great staff and god said why are you you know talking to me or calling to me just use your staff the staff we have is the prayer you know you can do anything through jesus christ who strengthens you at the same time you can use the prayer as a communication to talk to god and also listen from god because it is through prayer that we have a relationship with god and it is through this relationship that we draw our strength you know there are three things i want to say face your fears when you go out and even each and every one of us in second timothy first chapter and 7 to 9 it says for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love you know the last one is my favorite you know god can give us not a spirit of fear but also he can give us power you know and love but the the last one you know of a sound mind in some translation it says discipline you know or uh, uh, wherever you go sometime you might have to go under some leadership sometime you have to go under some pastors or uh, some teachers or some elders but that discipline that sound of mind that self control will take you to the places that you never dreamt of even though god gives us the power and also the love to overcome everything but the last one i believe is so important therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony of the or never be ashamed of the gospel and also share the sufferings you know to the uh, share with me the sufferings the paul paul apostles apollo apostle says for the gospel according to the power of god who has saved us and called us with the holy calling not according to our works but according to his own purpose and grace which has given to us in christ jesus before time even began and the second thing forget your past or forget you know your failures never think about it we see in philippians chapter 3 verse 13 to 4 you know i do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it but one thing i do forgetting you know what is behind and also straining toward what is ahead press on toward the goal to win the prize for which god has called me heavenward in christ jesus you know never look back never think about your past many of us you know stay in the past stay in the failures but never look up to that never uh, uh, look into that never think about that always look forward in a past is past whatever you have failed whatever you had a bad experience leave that one but share the story to somebody it can change someone you know 
at, at last at final have faith you know this is one of the main thing as a christians and followers of jesus without faith we cannot even uh, do anything in our life you know even if you want to start something very small even if you want to obey the call of god even if you want to obey anything the lord is telling you to do even if it is a very small thing to do but we got to have faith you know that is the lord even we receive salvation with the faith you know we see in hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 3 you know since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us let us fix our eyes on jesus the author and the perfecter of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross scorning its shame sat down at the right hand of the throne of god you know consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart i want to tell you today face your fears as you are graduating and also each and every one of us and forget all your past and failures never think about it you know sometime without failure we cannot have the success yeah there is a lot of things we learn from the failure so never uh, look uh, like so low on the failures but god teaches a lot through the failures so face your fears forget all your past or failures and leave it in, you know in the past and have faith in your life as you go forward you know wearing the whole armor of god always day to day life never miss out because the enemy is trying to watch out and enemy is trying to look out for us where he can attack any time you know any second possible you know when we are like tired little bit then he can just use anything against us so you are always wear the old armor of god and face your fears forget all your past and failures and leave it in the past and uh, have faith and as, as i always say you know be all that god has created each of you to be you know never look down on yourself never degrade yourself you know have a confidence because god has created you wonderfully and beautifully and be what god wants you to be yeah never have a fear of men stand you know with truth never have to be uh, looking down because you have a fear of men or uh, you don't have to uh, be scared of men or whatever but stand always with the truth and always look for what god is telling you to do and when you stand with god and jesus when he stands with you guides you and shows the path you can have all the confidence in you that you can go forward and god bless you guys thank you so much for the time and thank you so much for all the leaders and uh, pastors and uh, all the students thank you god bless you